We um, go to the second segment in the agenda, and it's on the topic of Experience 4.0, which means two things, uh, both Vo Volti and the video experience. Uh, the first operator speaker in this segment launched commercial Volti in 2014, was awarded the best Volti Innovation Award at LTE World Summit in 2015, he serves as the Chief Technology Officer of Mobile Engineering at HKT. He has 25 years of experience from analog and amps to 5G now. Everybody, please join me in welcoming Henry Wong to the 4G Summit. Henry? Hi, um, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Now, um, this session is really talking about what is the user experience, especially for the boys. When we roll out the 4G, will the user have a better user experience? Now, um, I, the first is I would like to have a brief introduction about our roadmap in rolling out the VOTI. Um, roll out a VOTI is not only roll out a VOTI by itself, you need to have a, a contiguous coverage, ubiquitous coverage on the LTE. And we compare with the CS voice on the KPI. And however, optimizing the KPI is not the pawn for the VOTI, it's actually the KQI which is the most. How do we optimize the most? And we are using the um, VOTI Plus, which is a Huawei um, a, a feature solution to use this as a capability to optimize it further on the most. Now, um, we wrote out the LTE in 2012, which is uh, a, a, a on the 2600. But for a good coverage, we put it into a lower band on the 1800. And at this moment, we are even rolling out on the LTE 900. With this good coverage, we managed to roll out the um, VOTI on May, in May uh, 2014. Um, and, and that was uh, the time that the first handset, which is a Samsung Note 3, supporting the uh, VOTI ESRVCC. And last year, we won the, uh, the, the, the award, the best uh, VOTI summit. And then, end of last year, we use uh, the VOTI Plus to further optimize the, um, the VOTI. I will, later on, I will mention a little bit of how to, what is our experience. We would like to share of, of our experience. Now, ever since we launched for the last almost two years of the VOTI, um, the handset basically support, the, 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 the latest smartphone already supported. Uh, for example, Samsung and um, iPhone, LG, and also Sony. Now, the launch of a new handset does encourage people to subscribe to, not subscribe, to register or activate the VOTI service. Now, this slide really indicates. Now, this is uh, the, the handset um, who obviously is uh, capable of the VOTI and really use it for the VOTI on the everyday. Now, if you look at it, for the people who use the VOTI, suffer, this is a 12-month period. For the people who use the VOTI, it will continue to VOTI all the way. They will not give up. The meaning that they are really using it day by day. Another observation is this. Whenever there's a new handset coming in, um, it will increase the growth. And there's another new handset coming in, and increase the growth. So this VOTI is a continuous um, surface which will be a long-term evolution. So up to this moment, um, the, some of the handset still, um, when you buy a new handset, it is a default off, right? I mean, people need to discover how to turn on the VOTI. But even so, people will use the VOTI. And we are working with the handset vendor that we try to make sure that when people 
buy the new handset, it will become a default on, um, which will even encourage more people to pick up their body. For people who subscribe our network, or actually all network in Hong Kong, um, they do not need to subscribe another service, which is not a value added service, which is a given. I mean, whenever you are on any network, and your handset is capable of the voting, you automatically can enjoy the voting. The only thing that the user need to do is just turn on the user features on the handset to enjoy the voting. Now compared with the CS voice, um, obviously I take the same sample of the voting user. If it is a, a terminating call, which is about one second, meaning the leg of the voting is very, very short, less than one second. If the MO call, which is a five second, which is an average of all over to voting to voting, voting to CS and voting to land, meaning that the voting leg is much shorter than the normal average out over the other, other leg. Another, um, which is the call safe successful rate, slightly better, right? And um, which is not a surprise, and because of the, the voting on the on the on the 40 has a high priority, the signaling is a more, more higher priority. Um, so as you compare with the um, with the others, now this is an interesting part. Now, when you have even have a good set up a call, um, you do not have a job call, but what will be the user experience of the voting? Now, we look, we, we go out and then do a few trial, and then we collect all the, all, all the sampling points. And then you, we, we make up the MOS. Every time we, we measure a MOS, we also measure the packet loss, we also measure the delay. If you analyze all these three data, basically you can see the MOS is more sensitive to the packet loss. Um, less than the delay, right? I, we, I'm not saying that delay is not important, but 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 packet loss is is really seriously damaging the the most. Now, if you look at the the area, um, the 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 area that where are those area which has a high packet loss? That is the area we need to focus on optimizing the um, packet loss, which basically implies that you can effectively optimize uh, the MOS as well. This is uh, one, one of the observations. Another, um, and, and then we, we need to, uh, um, for the MOS less than three, we need to eliminate this. For the MOS less than four, we need to improve it. Now, another scenario, which is indoor. Now, indoor, Basically, if you have an indoor radio antenna system, you do not have a cell edge phenomenon. But you have another scenario, which is the capacity. Now, uh, this is a subway system, which is not a surprise. Um, if, if, if you have been in Hong Kong in, during the commuting time, it's really like this every day. Now, if you look at this, now, this is uh, a, the timeline uh, on every hour, and then the top chart measure the um, uplink packet loss. And this slide, this chart, is measuring the QCI1, which is the voltage packet loss. Now, if you look at it, for every day, uh, 6 o'clock, I have a high percentage of packet loss on weekday, but not weekend, right? So meaning that Voti may also suffer another scenario, which is um, when there is a, 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 a heavy load, there is a, a phenomenon with a high packet loss, okay? So um, this is also sensitive um, to the loading on the network. Now, what can we do with this? So we, we, we need to optimize the most, okay? So we look at the voting plus in this area, coverage, quality, and no drop. What, what does it mean? We always keep it on LTE, meaning that 
we do not want to do a, um, a ESRVCC to 3G. We want to stay it as long as or on the LTE as much as possible. Quality, we optimize the network to always into uh, MOS 4.0 and always online. All right. um, if if you, 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 you are on the VOT, even though you go to a low coverage area for one or two minutes, you come out and then you, if the, the opposite party still keep on, you can still reconnect the call, right? So always on. Um, so now this is a, 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 a basket of features that is used uh, since um, uh, last year, end of last year. Um, some of them, for example, the, um, the, the, the coverage, TTI bundling, which is particularly useful for the cell edge, um, that is good for the outdoor environment, right? Um, when, 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 the, when the handset transmits at the maximum power, and also the SINR is uh, go, go, going down to a certain level and then trigger on the TTI bundling. Uh, header compression, which is very important in order to avoid the interference. Now, uh, we are currently uh, doing the trial with the Voticom, um, the, um, the Yiran 11.1. Um, so hopefully we can further improve the uplink. Um, basically, this is, uh, we are working on the uplink com, right? And uh, now we deploy the uh, voice characteristic awareness schedule, which help our MTR situation. Whenever there is a, a VOT packet, it will immediately send it out. Uh, according to your scheduler. So all, all these uh, features, uh, we, are we are making use of these uh, for the uh, optimization. Now look at this. Um, by making use of this uh, capability, we look at this uh, test drive again. Now, so we have our observed those uh, modes less than three, right? And then we ca categorize a different characteristic. Poor uplink quality, Long scheduling time delay, poor uplink, you know, all these uh, different characteristics. And different characteristics with based on, on which particular feature we would uh, like to address those. Now, initially, we do a KPI optimization, which is a normal radio optimization. Uh, whether there is uh, any missing neighbor, link reestablishment, voltage packet loss, high interference, pack, uh, ping pong, you know, all these is really trying to eliminate all the normal radio optimization. The next thing is the important, which is using this capability to optimize the MOS, right? And with this, we try to identify the, those are the, the, um, the green, which is between three and four. Anything be yellow, purple, and red, we need to eliminate them, right? So uh, of this result, we primarily eliminate a lot of these uh, MOS less than three, decrease by 50%, and increase in the MOS of uh, more than four by 77%. So this is the capability that allow us to do the MOS optimization um, cap capability. So um, this is a, the end of my talk. Thank you. <laughs>